Hello everyone, welcome to the Stock Trading Tutor channel. In this video, we'll be wrapping up the stock market news for the day. As we can see, Sensex and Nifty have ended in the red today again. Sensex has ended 135 points down at 37,847 level. Nifty has ended 11,271 level, which is 59 points down. The top gainers on the Nifty today were the Entertainment, Nation Paints, Hindustan Unilever, HDFC, and HCL Technologies. The top losers on the Nifty today were UPL, Adani Ports, India Bulls Housing, Iker Motors, and Indus Inn Banks. Among the sectors, Metal Index slipped over 2%, followed by Auto, Energy, Infra, IT, and Pharma. The Mid Cap Index was down 1.5%, while the Small Cap Index shed over 1%. And in commodity market news, as of 4 p.m. Indian Standard Time, the international Brent crude oil futures are trading at $63.72 per barrel. The U.S. WTI crude oil futures is trading at $56.80 per barrel. Gold is trading at 35,016 rupees per 10 gram, which is 0.01% lower than the previous close. Silver is trading at 41,532 rupees per kilogram, which is 0.24% higher than the previous close. And in currency market news, the US dollar Indian rupee currency pair is trading at 69 rupees to the dollar, which is 0.01% lower than the previous close. And in other stock market news, Reliance Nippon Asset Management Company's promoter Reliance Capital has created pledge on 22% stake from July 22nd to 23rd. Reliance Capital's 22% equity in the company has been deposited in an escrow with pledge creation. Crompton Consumers Q1 results were announced, showing a net profit rise of 17.4% at 122.4 crore rupees against 104.3 crore rupees previously. The revenue was up 11.9% at 1,347 crore rupees versus the 1,204 crore rupees year on year. Vigard Industries Q1 results showed a net profit rise of 53.6% at 53 crore rupees and their revenue was up 10% at 706.6 crore rupees. The EBITDA was up 52.1% at 72.1 crore rupees while their margin was up at 10.2% year on year. Canara Bank's Q1 results showed net profit up by 16.9% at 329.1 crore rupees. Their net interest income was down 16.6% at 3,240.1 crore rupees versus the 3,882.9 crore rupees year on year. Those were the main news items for the day. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos on stock market and trading, please subscribe to this channel. If you'd like to learn about the commodity market, you can attend the free training session which we are conducting in Mumbai on 3rd August 2019. We are inviting the speaker, Mr. Thipin Gogoi, a market researcher, to come and talk about profitable trading strategies in especially commodity markets. So you can benefit from this program by attending. You can register by clicking the link in the description and filling out the details.